Hello. Good evening, Steffi. Oh, it's you, Anna. Anna, how are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I yeah, cannot hear, I hear you. you. All right. Let me try. Okay. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Let me wait. Okay. How about? Oh. For a moment. Mm. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I always can hear you. Okay. I think it's my handphone. That doesn't work. Didn't work. Ah, okay. Because <laughs> I heard a, re a really strong. Oh, today it's you. What happened yesterday? You don't have a connection. Oh, yesterday it was very, very strange. The temperature was really strange. It's around 40 or 41. My husband also came back home early because something happened with their electricity. I think a portion of that exploded because of too much heat yesterday. So we got strong heat waves yesterday. See? Ouch. It's normal, right? Mm -hmm. So normal. that's normal. really the problem. And uh, Steffi, I cannot hear you. No? Can you speak? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can't hear you. But can you hear I can't me? hear you. <gasps> Hold on. How about it? Uh, anyway, maybe I... I can't hear. I can't hear you. Okay, I can hear. What's wrong with my headset? Sudden. So okay, your microphone no, okay. work. Yeah. I, I think so. Maybe. Okay, no, it's it's not on mute. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that was the problem yesterday. So I cannot. The weather, the weather itself, it usually happens. If there is really extreme hot temperature, it happens. They, they needed to shut down some uh, electricity lines because of there's a big is chance it, it might explode. Is it normal like that? The heat is normal mm -hmm. in, in Philippines? Yes. <laughs> Actually, really? yes. 40. Yes, it happens. Yes. It no, really happens. For season now. For um, season now. Summer? Now here it's summer, still summer, until May, until next month. Next month, second week, is still summer. Yeah. But uh, third week to fourth week of May is almost rainy season. So, oh, there's Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Time to see. Yes. Good evening, Miss Anna. Good day, Steffi. How are you? <laughs> 
Yes. Hi, Chloe. I apologize for yesterday. I really had... I don't yes, know what to it's do. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. And the, the temperature was really very strange yesterday. Like extremely hot. 40, 40, like or 40, 40 or 41. So the, the core just melted? Maybe. Actually, I'm not... I don't know much about, you know, electricity lines, but they said they were fixing it. And even my husband came back home early because they also didn't have electricity. Some electric lines exploded. So they had to let everybody go home. Okay, so I think bad. it's not it's not just in my place. So probably other areas too. We got strong mm. heat waves yesterday. So it's a little bit strange for me because I have never really experienced that that much. But yesterday was all of a sudden. It's like your sauna, your sauna, your sauna, like entering sauna and you wanted to sweat. And your fan, there are two big fans, but the air is really it's hot. Hot. It's blowing like, hot air. Like steam. Yes. So I had no choice. Okay. But thank you so much for still doing your part. And anyway, uh, for today, we are going to have your writing. Writing and listening, actually. But I think you needed more time for your writing. So, you, Steffi, where do you think you needed more practice? In your listening or in your writing skill? Listen, I think listening. I'm listening with you. How about you, Chloe? How about Chloe? Oh, hello. Chloe's picture looks cute <laughs> in the video. Uh, uh, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, there. Oh, because sorry. your picture stop. Your picture stop, and your video stop. So, Chloe, like. What skill do you needed more practice in your listening or writing? Which, hello? I can't hear her. I think she had some um, uh, poor condition. Oh, there. There you go. Oh, there, Chloe, you're back. I'm sorry, okay. my internet is. It's fine. <laughs> I can really understand that. I mean, that. In a country where it often happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what did you say earlier? Oh, uh, in what skill do you need it, do you need more practice? Listening or writing? Uh writing and speaking, I suppose. <laughs> uh, the writing and the speaking. Usually yeah. what part in the speaking? Because today we have to make sure that because next week would be your examination week, right? Your exam week. So for today, all we have to do is at least to keep you more familiarized with what to do with the writing and the listening. But uh, so far, I think both of you, your writing somehow is already there. It's already there. It just needed more, how can I say it? A better vocabulary use. And then coherence as well and organization a little bit. Yep. So for today, we'll do more on the writing because we have to see if we can already do it properly, especially the essay part. We will do the essay part today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So how about in listening? You're okay with listening? Steffi, what part in listening do you find more challenging? more but listening uh, is a bit let's like talk and um and you need to follow the time frame uh, and say the vocabulary and you need to write it down and when you oh, try to think about what is that then they're, they're oh, talking about the next vocabulary and then yes yes yeah uh -huh, that's, that's what they do ah okay yeah. okay oh bye you long time no see hey, miss. hello bye you yes Nice to see you again. Yeah, so, sorry. Bayou, it's okay. We were just talking about, because today we're going to have writing and listening. Yeah. So, especially essay writing today. So, which skill do you think 
you needed more practice, the writing or the listening? I think it's uh, uh, listening. Listening. Ah, it's the listening. Okay, we'll see on that. You, you and Steffi almost have the same. Hello. How should I call? It's my first time to meet you. Yes, me too. How Hello. do you pronounce your name? Uh, Rich Upon. Rich Upon, okay. So, nice to meet you. And I'm teacher Anna. Okay, so I'll nice. be the Wednesday teacher starting today. Okay. So Thank nice you. to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. you. By the way, we're going to have writing and listening today. Okay. So to start you with, we will do first your writing. It's essay writing. What do you know about the essay writing? What skills have you already used in essay writing? Can anyone share? Mm -hmm. What skills have you done? You're okay with your introduction. Yeah, introduction, the body replay, and refray. Yes. And, and the conclusion. Conclusion and conclusion and should else? be the end. Yeah. The body. The body yeah, is body. the middle. The body, the body paragraph, yeah. Yeah. Okay. May I ask everyone? How's your introduction writing? How's your skill in writing introduction? Steffi, you're Sorry, okay? Um, I fine. think I write it up, it's fine. I didn't mm -hmm. feel very difficult. I need, just need to uh, have more vocabulary so I can write more. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, how, yeah. how about you, Chloe? Um, about my introduction? Uh, yes. I think it's fine, but I need to like uh when the refreshing. Uh huh. Yes, yes. I have to use you my did. own word to mm -hmm. re, re restate it, and mm -hmm. I found out sometimes it's difficult to like generate the sentence. Yes. Um. Uh. I I can copy the structure. Mm -hmm. and change the vocabulary the but mm -hmm. it's not what it uh need us to do we we need to rewrite the sentence yes. not to change the word yeah yes so okay how about by you how about you i think for me is uh about uh writing is i'm still uh don't know much about the vocabulary vocabulary then, yeah the the pointing to me is i think it's more important for me is i like more listening about some vocabulary ah vocabulary you're really into you need more vocabulary words oh in essay writing that is needed yeah. right especially choosing the correct the appropriate vocabulary words yeah yeah Same because goes uh-huh so many words in english means so many okay same goes with chloe in your case too um i think you're pertaining to paraphrasing yeah. so paraphrasing uh paraphrasing is different from summarizing because paraphrasing is either you change the word but you keep the meaning of the sentence or you change the sentence but you still keep the meaning Okay. Right? However, it's more ideal to change the sentence but still keep the meaning. Yeah. The challenge is your vocabulary and your grammar skills. Sometimes I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh change the sentence. The sentence. Okay. Yeah. The, it's okay to change the sentence as long as your meaning is still the same yeah. with the original one. That's okay. But, of course, this is IELTS, so you still need vocabulary skill. It yes. has points a lot. How about you, Ichapon? How about you? Just uh -huh. How about your writing skills? Yeah, right, writing skill, um, mm. introduction, uh, body, paragraph, uh, information, one. Mm -hmm. Um. 
I'm not sure about writing our essay, teacher. Ah, <laughs> okay. If, if, if we're writing, we got step like um, four more informal about this one in the essay. So ah. They cut off shorter, yeah? So mm -hmm. it must be uh, the introduction. We do a paraphrase. We keep the, mm -hmm. the meaning, but we change the word. So we find a synonym. Mm -hmm. good, uh, good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, we understand. So for the introduction, so mm -hmm. for the topic. And then uh, the, the body paragraph so we're mm -hmm. writing and discussing argument yes the argument mm -hmm. yeah we talk about advantage disadvantage um okay. pros and cons and then the conclusion we finalize oh you already know uh -huh. yeah that, that's what I... I'm, I'm understand about the essay yeah mm -hmm. and okay. we can i think like cohesion and coherent which is like mm -hmm. yes Green i think topic. you're f you're fully aware of the steps of the pattern because yeah. usually the pattern is easy to un to remember. the The challenge is, what content am I going to put to fill up the pattern? Right, that's the challenge. So your contents, the ideas yeah, only, you need to put. Only yeah, in the content and yeah, um, like uh, I already remember introduction, creation, mm -hmm. coherent. What we call a uh, I D. Is it, uh, ICC introduction, uh -huh, yes. Conclusion, conclusion yes. that's what I remember. But there's so many things I don't know. Who <laughs> Actually, ICC, yes. Basic, yeah. Those ICC. those acronym you have, right? The ICC. Yeah. We we have all those clue letters, those yeah, acronyms yeah. to represent. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, idea, uh, and then the something. Mm -hmm. Another the form with with the four shortcut. Okay. Oh God, like I, they got the. I, <laughs> the I'm not sure, but I already remember. It includes already comments, remember. right? Your opinion, but it it varies. But today we are going to do the essay writing because your writing usually have two tasks, right? The task one is about the graph or the process or the image that you see, mm -hmm. and you write around 150 words for that, right? Mm -hmm. But for the task two, we're doing task two today. It's essay writing. At least you have 250 words to write, right? It's long, the 250 words. So you have to maximize your... And in addition, 40 minutes is given for your essay writing. 20 minutes is for the task one, for the graph, interpreting the pictures or tables. So you got 40 minutes. Actually, 40 minutes is quite... It's more than enough for you to have an essay so you really have to make sure you you put everything in an organized way so please this time yeah i'm going i'm going to share with you okay this is our uh, format today i think you've done this before already and uh, Okay, let me share my screen. Okay. Please tell me if you can see my screen now. Yes. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. So, of course, I think you've done some other essays in the past few weeks or days. But this time we are going to do the discussion type of essay. So, you had a lot of different kinds of essay but this one is more on the discussion type of essay so since it's a discussion type it requires you to have good sentence skills make sure you are able to also explain your point here very well and clear make sure you also give examples to support your point and make sure you connect them also properly because you will be explaining like two sides. You'll be explaining two sides and you'll be giving your opinion. So this is quite, that's why you needed like 250 words for this. The challenge here is sometimes you have a lot of opinion running in your mind, right? Many ideas running through your mind. But you have to make sure that you are going to limit that only to the ones that are important to be put here. Okay, and please focus on what is asked in the prompt, in the topic that's given to you. Okay, 
So at least 250 words, yeah, it would work because you still need to give your examples, your reason, right? So the 250 words will work here. So let's see. Can you see my screen now? Can everybody see? Okay. So let's look again at the introduction. Of course, you have the three parts here. If you can see the background, the highlight, the background of how you've done this, right? Before, am I right? You've done this before. Over the past few years, over the past few decades. But make sure you use this only if the topic can, uh, if the topic is requiring this kind. It seems like you're recalling a past event or a history or something memorable you had before. This is okay. This is okay. But if the topic has nothing to do with this kind of sentence, you have to make your own. Okay? It's not always over the past few years. Okay? So you have to think about other background sen sentences that you can use depending on the topic given to you. Okay? If it's a current issue, a current question, then you couldn't really use this that much. Okay? Number, the next part of introduction is the issue. Now, this is now almost like the argument or the topic that is required for you to answer. So currently, some people argue that this one is okay in any, any topic, in any topic. This is possible. Can I ask somebody, any one of you will do, do you know any other sentence? Or phrase like this, similar to this. Can you give me another another phrase or line like this? This one is currently some people argue that. How about you? If you will be asked to make your own. From nowadays. Ah. Uh -huh. nowadays, Here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nowadays. I mean currently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, um, some people we can like um, mm. a bunch of people. Mm, yeah, you can disagree mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That one is okay. So it means you are starting now to create your own, right? So it means you're flexible in making your own line in writing. Okay, because we are given a pattern to understand so you can have the flow the flow but it's limited only to a certain topic so make sure you're flexible with this okay everybody be flexible with this and this part okay don't lose track of the topic given to you and of course but there are others who advocate this part the issue is the argument, right? So two, there will be two sides mentioned here and you have to discuss that, okay? And the one we used to have before, the thesis or your thesis statement, what are you going to prove? Now this, this essay will discuss both views and the argument, okay? Including your opinion or your reason. So again, in this part, you can also be flexible with this, okay? It depends on the topic. Any question with the introduction? We will see it later. Any question here? If you can see, there's a paraphrase argument. Can you see this? Yeah. So it means you can paraphrase, okay? It's the easiest thing you can do, paraphrase it. But as much as possible, um, try to make it like your own sentence. Use the other vocabulary words you can do, but just keep the meaning of the argument. Okay, just keep the meaning of the argument. Okay, let's go now to side A. This, of course, this is already the body of your essay. This is the first point. In your argument. Okay. 
So you can see there the pattern. There are several reasons why people believe that's the first argument and so on. Okay, if you remembered, we studied before, including in our reading class, we studied before that you also need to put the ideas, your topic sentences. First is your topic sentence. And then support your topic sentence. Okay, please, if you give a reason, give an example. Okay. And at least when, when you do that, you can make up for the 250 words. But make sure they are appropriate, suited for your topic sentence. Again, if you give a reason, you give an example. So it will be clear. And then another one, another reason is, it depends on how many reasons, but at least, at least two, at least two reasons for the first argument, at least two. And then you give one example for each. So it will be clear, okay? For the side B, same style, your topic sentence. You give a reason, at least two reasons, and one example for each. That's the easiest we can do. Although you can see the pattern here, right? The pattern is here. But at least you remember that topic sentence, your two reasons, and then one example each. Next, topic sentence. Two reason, one example each. And then your ending sentence. So, can I ask someone, may I ask Steffi, how do you do your conclusion? How do you make your conclusion? You personally, when you write your essay. Mm-hmm. In my opinion? Yeah. In, in your yeah, in your style. When you write your conclusion, how do you do it? Can I just write in my opinion or mm. summarize? Okay. Yeah, that's a very good one. So when you write your conclusion, it's either you summarize and you give a suggestion. It's also possible. Or you give a recommendation. That one is also possible. That's here. In the future, right? It's this. This part is more on like the summarized version. Okay? But again, it must not be a summary. Okay? The conclusion must not be very long. It's just restating whatever you have written in a shorter version. Short. Okay? And then you end with comment, with recommendation or a suggestion or it's here so this one depends on you now okay so usually it is that style so for today do you have any questions for this by you by you do you have any question for this pattern i, think I'm okay. I hope you can... ah by the way you can find this pattern in moodle you can find yeah. this in Moodle. This is week five? Week four. We're in week, week four. four. Yes. Week four, essay writing discussion. Yep. Okay. It's there. You can find this. Okay. So let's follow. Please follow the format that you have. But again, because I am going to give you a topic. So this one can change. Okay. This one can change depending on the topic given to you, okay? Red so I'll four. show, yep, yes. red, four. red five. You're in red, red. five. Oh. Okay, red five. Okay, and I'll be showing you now. I, sorry, I have to. Okay, I'll stop sharing the screen first. Let's see. Oh, this is there already. Hello, DC, Faru, Hello, and teacher. Emmy. Long time no see. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. We're doing essay writing today. Good day, okay. teacher. Yes. We're doing essay writing. So I hope you heard the one we talk about. And I'll be showing you now a sample. Okay. 
this one, this activity actually is asking for a conclusion. But we are going to do all the from introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. This is the example for the format you saw a while ago. The red one. Okay. The topic here is, can you please read? Um, Faru, can you please read this part? The topic? Uh, some people believe that it is a good idea to travel after finishing school instead of going to the university directly, while others disagree strongly. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay. If you noticed, from the format, the one I showed you before. Can you see? Can you see this? No. Right? Over the past few decades. And then some points about it, some background about it is here. Here. Until here. This is just the background. Just the background. Okay? So make sure at least you have... A background information. At least do that in one sentence. That's fine. And then here goes the issue. Can you see? This is now the issue. Okay. They said some students would like to travel after they graduate high school, but some people. They do not agree with that because there are some reasons why they have to go to college right away after high school. So that's this. And, okay, this is now your thesis statement. This one. Hey, sorry. This one now is your thesis statement. Again, like we studied before, it's the last part of your introduction. Okay, it's here. And the rest would go here. Okay. This is the topic sentence. Let me choose a color. This is a topic sentence. And the rest are supporting details for the topic sentence. Okay, if you notice... Topic sentence, reason one. Look at this. Reason one. Oh, no. Reason one and then reason two. Can you see? I hope you can follow. This is statement. This is a topic sentence. This is now in your body. Topic sentence, reason one. Example. Reason two, example. Same goes with the next paragraph. Same style follows. Okay? Look at this again. Hello, teacher. Here. Yep. Oh, I hello, Kalu. I just got a problem with the lock in the yum. So I just... Ah, it's for... okay. No problem. Okay. This is now your... We're going to do the essay writing. Yes. Today. So I'm just, we're just reviewing the parts on how you're going to do your essay writing for today. Yeah. It's discussion time. Okay. I think we already had this in reading. So topic sentence, topic sentence, your reason, example. First reason, example. Second reason, example. Okay. And then your ending sentence. This is the ending sentence. Look at this. Can you see? This one is the ending sentence. Speak gray. This is gray. There are many colors now. Again, the green ones are the topic sentence. The pink ones are your reason. So you got two reasons. And the rest are just examples to support your reason. And then end your, sen end your paragraph, first paragraph. Okay. The next one is, on the other hand, the next paragraph is the next argument. 
Same style again. Topic sentence. Of course, this is your... Sorry, Miss Anna, what is the gray one? The green one is the topic sentence. Okay. The gray one, color gray, is ending sentence. Ending sentence. Okay. Ending sentence. Please, please, everybody, I've noticed sometimes some forget the ending sentence. The ending sentence is very important. It connects you to the next paragraph. So, and it's still part of your essay. So don't lose the ending sentence. Okay? Look, it, it should also be emphasized that the travelers cannot have the experiences at home. This one now is connecting you here. So again, topic sentence. And then the pink one is your reason number one. And then your example. And then there's another reason he gave here. And then the example. So generally, even, even though you have your ICC, you have those, those acronyms that you have to remember, the main point always is topic sentence, reason one, example. Reason two, example. And you go to the next argument. Topic sentence, reason one, example. Reason two, example. And you're done. Just don't forget the ending sentence. And this is now the ending. Okay. Do you have questions? Look at the colors I made. They're all the same, right? Hmm. Okay. There you go. It's here. The yellow the, one, it was the, the issues? Yes, that's right? like the issue. Yeah, the issue you are going to talk about. Yeah, but the, the thesis statement, the thesis statement is the blue one, the color blue. The blue one. So that's the statement, okay. Yes, this is the most important part in one of the most important parts in your essay. This one gives the reader the idea on what you are going to write about. That's why if you notice, while there are advantages of this proposal, one should not ignore the potential disadvantages. Oh, there's a wrong spelling there. As well, as will now be as okay, as will now be discussed. So this is now giving you the idea what will be paragraph two and paragraph three all about. Advantage and disadvantage. You see? So you have to make sure you make a very strong, strong thesis statement. This will guide you as you write. If you lose track in your paragraph, look back to the thesis statement. Make sure this is a strong one. Okay? So this will be a challenge for you again today to write your essay. But the one I showed you today follows any kind of writing exam. Whether you would take IELTS, you will take TOEFL, you will take other kinds of writing tests. They follow the same, same pattern, same pattern. So... This will be an advantage for you if you were able, you're able to understand and follow the pattern. Okay? So I'll give you now your topic for today. Ah, oh, by the way. Okay. I made a conclusion because this writing doesn't have a conclusion. Okay? So, uh, DC, can you please read the conclusion? Yes, in conclusion, taking a year off after high school is beneficial, especially in practicing independence and enhancing a student's life experience. Such advantages exist. I think promote, uh, promoting, promotion, oh my God, promoting, oh, dela promoting delay. delay in the time a student enters college and disrupting his interest as a 
uh, new fight is yeah, correct. In, the, in the university must be considered uh, considered to, to. Okay. Uh, Do you know a neophyte? What is a neophyte? Who knows that vocabulary? Come on, it's it's a word you use for school, for students. What is a neophyte? Is new student? Or new? Yes, correct, DC. Hmm. If you are a neophyte, it's your first time to enter college. It's your first yeah. year in college. Neophyte, yeah. sophomore, sophomore, junior, senior. Neophyte, yeah. sophomore junior senior that's how we call the students in the university okay so this is just my sample conclusion i made this i made this so make sure you're able to make your conclusion too and here is your topic okay i'll start with steffi and ken lu steffi and ken lu your topic I have here four, one, two, three, four. There are actually five, but I removed number two. Uh, four topics here, but Ken Lu and Steffi will do number one. Ken Lu and Steffi, you will do number one topic. Yep. Okay. I hope you can see there in your Moodle. Some people think students who achieve Oh, this is a very good argument. Some people think that students who achieve the best academic results should be rewarded. Others believe it is more important to reward students who just show improvement. Oh, discuss both views and give your opinion. This is a good one because you've been a student, so you'll be able to support this well. So let's see for number two. Chloe, is Rayland here? Okay, hold on. Hi, Stop teacher. Sharing. So we, we just tried out a, a conclusion, right? Actually, instead of writing just a conclusion only, you write the essay. I have to and have put to conclusion. So at least you can practice all together. Yes. Although they're asking for conclusion, but it's a lot better. You write the essay. Okay. So next essay would be for Chloe and uh, Rayland is not here. Teacher, can so, you okay. share it? Which one is the conclusion? I, so I, you I, can I, do I, it. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. We know which one to do. Okay. I remove. Okay, it's here. Okay. For the second essay, it would be Chloe because Rayland, Rayland is not here, right? Okay, Chloe, okay, maybe Chloe and Richard Pond. It would be you, both of you. Okay, please do essay number two. This is the topic about living longer at the old people. Okay, so that's for Chloe and Richard Pond. For the third topic, it would be Alvin is not here, Maud. Is it here? Okay, it would be for Faru. Faru and DC. Faru and DC. Oh, this is good too. Especially also for DC. You have kids, right? You have children. Okay. That's number three. And last one for Emmy. Emilio and who else is in the list? Hold on. Let me see. By you. Uh, by you, you'll do also the last one. All right. The last topic. Okay. Some people think. Sorry, did yeah. you which which one? The last one who? or the last one by you, the last one. I'm, I'm Emilio, sorry. i sorry. Emilio, you will do number four. Okay, got it. Number Perfect. four. Okay, so those are your topics for today. Please put a conclusion, okay? Put a conclusion. I will repeat 
Number one is for Steffi and Kenlu. The second one is for Chloe. Who's with Chloe? I forgot. Richie. Chloe and Rich and Rich. Yeah. Okay. And then the third one is. Hold on. Who did I choose for the third one? DC. Faru. DC. DC. And then Faru. All right. Yeah, DC and Faru. Okay. And last one, Emilio. And by okay. Okay, I'll give you time now. You can start now your essay. Right. Would you like me to show you the format again? This one? Okay. Okay. Here. Would you like to see this? Or the sample essay? Which one do you prefer seeing? This is just a guide. What Steffi and Ken? Steffi and Ken Lu, your topic is number one, right? Yes. About school, about educational achievement of students. So yeah. think about any words about educational achievement, about reward. Any word that has something to do with that. Same goes with the others. Think about other vocabulary words that fits your topic. Okay. So at least this time, add more vocabulary. Please, uh, you can maybe you can just write it down if you have your notebook with you and just send to WhatsApp. But if using the word is easier for you, you can also send through Word file, Word format. I hope you're all okay with this. Challenge yourself to stay focused, not sleepy, <laughs> not bored, because writing really has that, has that effect. But keep focus. Next week is your examination. Your level must increase in writing. So. If you have questions, you can ask. Yes, yeah. Yes, yep. Yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. so we're going to start from introduction, side A, side B. And yes. Or just, yes. So, not just only conclusion. And also conclusion, yes. Okay. All. Okay. Okay. At least that is already your practice. It's already your practice. Please, everybody, increase your level of vocabulary words. If you can use phrasal verbs, Please do. It's very important to do it also. <clears throat> so, teacher, do we have to do the whole exer uh, discussion exercise? Yes. You have to make sure you do the introduction, the body, yeah. and the conclusion. Okay. Using the topic I give. Okay. Keep, you. keep your focus in the topic. Okay. okay. Again, at least at least you have two reasons and one example for each. That is okay. For side A and side B. Two reasons, one example for each. Your transition words, please. Don't forget. For example, on the other hand, on the contrary, please do.
I can see one more. Steffi Club and Levi. I am missing some. Please send your work in WhatsApp. Class, give me a few seconds for a while. My phone is heating up. It's really hot, but it's okay. I'm still uh, in the in the Zoom. 
I'll just bring it somewhere cooler in the Hello, DC. You still need the share screen? Is DC there? Okay. One moment. Hello. Oh, as you can have your break for five minutes first and then continue after. Hello. Hello, class. Have your break first for five yeah. minutes. Okay. Take a break. Yeah, and then continue after five minutes. Okay, have your break.
Hello, everybody's back. I'll share this one with you. So you can take a look too. This follows the same pattern with the red, red pattern. Are you all still okay? Is everybody okay? Do you have questions? Uh, so we need to write 250 words? At least 250 words, but don't be bothered exactly by the 250, as long as you have the, the format like this, that would be okay. At least by now, you're already trying to complete your body of the essay. Because you're only given, like, in the test, 40 minutes for the essay. So, at least you have formed already the body of your essay.
class. Which part are you doing now? Body, introduction, conclusion? I con introduction, body, or conclusion? In which part are you now? You asked me, teacher, yeah? Uh-huh. Yes, I'm um, just finished introduction. I'm um, continue uh -huh. to the side A, side body. B. Okay. The How about reason, yeah. Okay, that's good. At least one reason, one example. That's okay. Please uh, improve also your vocabulary. Steffi. Steffi and Hanlu, your yes. topic is about the your topic is about the achieve the students, right? Am yes. I right? Okay. Yes. May I hear some vocabulary words used? Um. Uh, some new like the vocabulary um involved with the essay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. What did you use? I got the achievement. Okay, good. Um, scholarship. Okay. Um, I got the prize. Okay. Um, okay. The the en encourage. Encourage. Um, improvement. Okay. Um, okay, that's good. <laughs> How about Steffi? Uh, performance. Good. Um, uh, performance suggestion, competition, attractive, uh -huh. prize, uh -huh. encourage. Okay, not bad. Okay. Some words you can also use. You can use also achievers, academic excellence, awards, recognition, motivate. You can also use those words. For schools, you can use prestigious schools, prominent schools. You can use them. Okay, thank you for sharing that. How about for Chloe? Yes. How about you, Chloe? Is there any, like, a bit of higher vocabulary that you used? Mm. By now? Uh, mm. what, what do you mean? The, the like, vocabulary? other, a little bit of a higher vocabulary. Word. I use this pill for argument, argue, mm -hmm. and what else? Mm. I think nothing like advanced vocabulary. Yours is about, yours is about old people. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. I use older generation or senior citizens. Senior citizens. Or 
older generation. Yeah. Senil, you can also use senil. You can search for that word. S E N I L. S E I mean, N I N I L E L E. Okay. Yeah. You can Thank you. find that too. You can mention also about retirement a little bit. We can connect that. Said, yeah. Did I turn the mind because I I'm using my phone and it didn't let ah. me to, to write more and something up and it's disappeared or deleted. I don't know. Oh. I can't do it here on my child. Ah, because you're just use your notebook if you have a notebook. Oh my god. Just use a notebook. I write Relax. it in my book. I write it in my book first because I want to know what I have to say. Uh, and now I want to write it on the chat to send okay. it to you. It was, it's, I don't know. You know. It wasn't letting me to write anymore. It's, it's deleted okay. or I don't know what happened. Uh, it's okay. You can just write it again. Don't worry. You can just write it again. You, you, know, you know your thoughts, right? You know what you put there. Yeah. Just, I have it, in it my, on my notebook. Yeah, okay. my what notes. topic is with you? DC, yours is. I talk about modern life. It's a third modern one, world. the modern life. Ah, okay. Yeah. The dependent, yeah. Modern world. Dependent. Oh, my okay. God. oh, this one is a good topic too. You can talk about liberated. You can use the words liberated. Yeah. Uh, what else? Is it, uh, can I send uh -huh. it to you on the WhatsApp? So, what are I in my notebook? No problem. Mm -hmm. okay, you can use your, you. write it in your notebook. Just make sure yeah, you send everything. It. I write it. I write it in my yeah. notebook because I want to know what to say. But I Good. tried the right data is gone. I don't know. Uh, okay. Because Just, I'm using my phone is a little bit hard sometimes. Okay, don't worry. Just everybody send, send everything in WhatsApp after you finish doing it, so I can check. And I'll be sending other writing you did last time. I'll be sending it all to you. Dependence. Increase your vocabulary words. For DC, if you're familiar with the word rebellious, you can also use it to connect if ever it can be connected in what you wrote. Can I go a little bit early because I can't breathe for a problem with my breath and I have asthma and oh okay okay, okay. Still, sorry okay okay but send to WhatsApp okay yeah so I'm gonna send it when I can yeah thank okay, you teacher okay. yes bye have a good night thank you yes you too.
Hello, Rich Upon. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Rich Upon, may I know some vocabulary words that you included? A bit higher vocabulary words that you included. Um, you mean the word that I do power uh yep. Yes, I use yep, any uh -huh. like nursing home instead of a retirement house. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep, or living uh assisted living. So okay, good. Good, good. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Okay. Thank you. Faru, Faru, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes, miss. Okay, Faru may I hear some vocabulary words that you used. Ah, uh, I got slightly increased. Okay. And um, uh, discusses. Okay. What topic did I give you? Um, some. Um, number three, some people think that in the modern world. Ah, in the world, okay, dependent, okay. Yeah. You can use the word liberated. It's also possible if you've heard about that word. Uh, Discipline. Have you heard about the word liberated? Say L I. Okay, I'll spell it for you. L I. Yes. Letter B as in boy. B E. Yes. R A T E D. R E. R A A. R A. R E. It's letter A, not E. A. R A as in apple. Oh, yep. Okay. Liberated. Liberated. You can check that word. You can check for the meaning of that word. Okay. You can use it. Liberated. Thank you, Faru. By you? How about by you? I don't think by you is here. Hi. By you is uh, I think Wim's life. You were, yeah. Wim's life. I'm here. By is there. By you? Yes, miss. Okay. What words did you use? Some vocab, a little bit higher vocabulary words that he used. Yes. Okay. What do you have? I just used the word about the um, mm -hmm. safety driving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yours is driving. Okay. You can. Yeah. That one is. Do you drive? Do you drive? Pardon? Do you drive? Yes. Ah, you do. Okay. So I think you know some words about <laughs> driving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you, you you know you know some words about yeah. this. Okay, you can use that because yes. you're you are an experienced driver. So, <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Good, I think I gave you the appropriate topic for you. Good. Okay. Hmm. All right. Fine. Emilio, Emmy, is Emmy still there? Emilio. Yes, teacher. I'm okay. here. Okay, Emilio, out. what's your what's your topic? My topic. It's about. It's about the driving. The punishment Where? for driving. Yeah. Okay. What words have you used? A little bit higher vocabulary that you have used. any do you drive emilio do you drive yeah oh okay so probably you know some driving words or terms or verbs that you can use yeah i think a little bit a little bit okay <laughs> okay if if you know the word implement 
uh, as a verb, implement, I am P L E M E N T. Okay. Implement. It's a verb. Implement. Yeah, you can use that also. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Okay. Figure out what it means. Implement. Yeah, you have this word is very, very common you know, in, in driving. Especially if you're really an experienced driver, a professional driver, experienced driver. You can implement as a verb, okay? Verb. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Everybody, please remember, in your examination week next week, 
essay writing would only be for 40 minutes, at least 40 minutes.
Okay, we have a few minutes left. So by this time, you should be having your, you should have your conclusion. Thank you for DC and Can Lu. Can Lu, good choices of words. Very good. Just be careful with some words that are not used appropriately or it's used properly, but something is missing in the sentence. Okay. Um, what, what does it mean, so ap appre appreciately, teacher? Appropriate. It means uh, suited or right, right for the sentence. You use it properly. Yeah. Uh, appropriate yeah. means you have to use it properly good for the topic right for the sentence yeah yes. but you yeah. have really good good choice of vocabulary words very thank good thank you for reviewing teacher mm -hmm. can i leave it i'll be giving hold on wait for a moment okay i'll be giving you your edited copy of your work i'll be sending it in whatsapp Yes. And also the other ones we had last time. Yeah, I'll be sending it here also. So the edited oh. ones. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. How about the others? Make sure everybody you have your you are in your conclusion already. By this time. Remember you are in your attendance, okay? So Can Lou, you're, oh, she's gone, okay. Her phrases. Okay. Okay, everybody, I'll be waiting for your answers tonight in WhatsApp because I need to edit all of them so I can give it to you tomorrow. So you can send your essay in WhatsApp. Are you almost done? Almost done. Okay, that's good. You have two minutes left. Okay, everyone, I think we have to end the class by now. And your work, just send it in WhatsApp. Okay, I'll be waiting for your answer for your essay.
because I will edit all of them. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll still be your teacher tomorrow. So starting this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will be your class with me. <laughs> so we will see each other more often. Okay, thank you so much and have a good night, everyone. Enjoy your dinner also. Thank Bye. you so much. Have a nice Take day. Yes. Good, good try, everyone. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.